my mum's dog. Yorkie won't go for a walkie. The only order he'll obey is stay. The only trick he does is sit. He's a rip-off. Right, everybody, this is a little love poem for you. All right, here it goes. I saw you in the park. I wanted to be your friend. I tunnelled my snout up your non-barking end. <coughs> there you are. Right, John's going to read one for you now. This is a very serious poem about the death of a dog. A very tragic affair. Come on, John. Off the go. The dog died the other day. I buried her where she had buried her bones, and on the levelled earth laid out her name in stones. About to pick a rose to stick in her grave, action froze. A thorn had torn my thumb. I saw the blood come, and the knowledge that I too would one day be dead struck me like a shovel in the features. I fell into an appalling gloom. The bloom remained unpicked. You're going to die, I mumbled as I replaced the shovel in the tool shed. You're going to die, said the sky, as I went up the path. Back in the kitchen, I was massively oppressed by the prospect of the end, but as I looked at the bright yellow bowl from which my friend had fed and the length of lead by which she and sometimes I had been led from somewhere, I somehow drew strength. You're going to die! So yippee yi yi I whooped as I dragged an unopened box of little dog biscuits out of the cupboard and tore into it, oblivious to the coupon. You're going to die. I trumpeted like an elephant. And I tossed those dry, nutritious, fawn-coloured fragments that my dog could never know into the air like so many pieces of confetti. You're going to die, I roared like the Yeti. You're going to die. Yes, Johnny boy, it's good news. You're going to die if you live forever. You need never try to do anything as you do everything an infinite number of times anyway. Yes, Johnny, you're going to die. You're going to die. The doorbell rang. It was the bloke from upstairs. He said, I'll kill you if you don't shut up. <laughs> 